Hello guys, welcome to my channel Tech Bulletin Prime. I am Rajnikant and today's video will see how we can install Apache Kafka in our local system, right? So we'll see in Windows how we can install. So if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications, right? So let's begin. So let me open Chrome and here you can search Kafka right so we'll get that url apache kafka here and you can go for download kafka and you'll see this download page and here we can see binary downloads are there so you can go for either 2.12 or 2.13 right so let's go for 2.12 so this is that actual page where you can download this is the link by which you can download so already i have downloaded you can see here kafka 2.12 right so this one already have downloaded so let's see after downloading what we can do so one more thing if you have not uh, installed java in your system means before installing this apache kafka you need to install java in your system right so let's see after downloading what we can do so here i have stored that file in software section and kafka folder so this is the tz file so let's extract that one so any any zip extractor you can use i have 7 zip so extract files okay some tar file i got so let's again extract this tar file Oh, where is 7g sorry 7g and extract files not extract file we'll do extract here okay right so we got this uh, extracted folder let's see what are there inside that one so you can see this bean folder config leaves and everything is there so actually this uh, this software is both for windows and linux system so this single thing is work for both you can see for windows uh, those bad files are here and for uh, linux system those uh, ss dot ss files are here right so this is uh, now next what we'll do we'll start the zookeeper right so zookeeper what it will do so it will manage the cluster and it will manage that kafka nodes right so first we need to start the zookeeper before starting the kafka server so that command we need to run right so already i have noted those commands this is a windows command so from where you are running this command that is matters otherwise you will end up with errors right so here we go so let's go to that home page i mean home folder kafka folder directly root folder right so from here i am running so you need not so you no need to worry about this one i will give those command in video description section let's type cmd and hit enter oops some error we got so the input line is too long the syntax of the command is incorrect right so already uh, uh, during some other time i faced this one so i have identified what is the solution so let me show you that one as well so the input line is too long on windows right so for this one we need to change in kafka hyphen ron dot class dot bad file in this file instead of this uh, this syntax we need to put these things right so uh, let me copy this one and go to that folder config not config it's a bean folder windows then here uh, kafka run hyphen class dot bat let's edit this one and let me search so here instead of this for loop we'll go for that syntax uh, 
okay then then let's go and we'll remove this one and we'll paste this one right so let me save this one control s let's close it again and now let's run it again okay so sorry so before uh, running this one we need to configure something i forgot that one so let me configure here do keep that properties so here data directory is there right so here we need to provide uh, the data directory our directory because here temp zookeeper is there right so here we need to go under this one create a folder as a data anywhere you can create uh, that's not mandatory here only here storing those files right data and inside the data uh, let me create one more folder zookeeper z o o k e e p e r zookeeper and one more file folder for kafka logs okay here we go and let me copy this uh, path and let's paste it here that's data directory this would be like this okay so this directory those files will be saved so just hold them hold a moment we'll change this classes okay done next one more property we need to change let's go to kafka and here configuration and server dot properties here we need to change that log file path right where is that one okay here a log directory right so here instead of this temporary log files we need to provide that that kafka path right so let's copy this a day file path and sorry folder path and we'll paste it here here also it's required to change this last otherwise it will not it will it will not store into that folder it will append so just hold a second yeah we have done yes now uh, let's run that command so i have changed those two properties files if you are doing that's good okay now let's run it again now it will not cry okay let me copy control c control c and here paste right okay so why again it's showing means i need to open the command prompt again right otherwise it will not work go to here and this uh, root directory and here cmd and let's paste and see right so you can see it's up and running the zookeeper server right so you can see it's running now let's uh, start kafka server no so let's go this is that uh, that bad file we need to run and we need to pass this server that properties to that kafka server right so let's let's go to this folder open command prompt cmd and let's okay it's not copied okay let me copy copy and here paste 
yes you can see started kafka server right it's got started okay well done so uh, both uh, zookeeper got started and kafka got started so whenever you are going to start the kafka server first you need to start zookeeper server then after zookeeper then you can start kafka server right now let's create a topic and we'll post some messages through consumer and we'll see uh, those messages from sorry we'll post some messages through producer and we'll see uh, those messages from consumer console right so let's create a uh, topic first so this is that command to create a topic right you can see here so kafka hyphen topic dot bat will run and here is the command create topic quick start event right and this is the bootstrap uh, server right so it is the default port 9092 kafka server right so let's let's run this command from here cmd open and let's run so create a topic quick start event right so now let's see what uh, whether the topic got created or uh, created or not right so one command is there wh where we can see the list of topic this is that command so this is the zookeeper uh, server 2181 right so let's run it here kafka topics bat is not a command okay sorry from bean we need to run right so let's append bean and windows to that command so we are running from uh, that main i mean home location right not from bean folder so let's run run it again and we'll see So you can see this is the topic we have created right it's showing quick start events so now let's open uh, a producer console and consumer consoles and one producer console will oh, post uh, messages and in consumer console we'll see those messages right so here are the, uh, those two commands So this is the producer console where we'll type our message and everything. Now let's uh, open. No, here only we can type right. Let's hit enter. Here you can see it's showing to type those things. This producer console is open. Now let's open a consumer console. So this is that command you can see consumer.bat will run and this is the topic from from where we want to listen those events or messages and this is that uh, Kafka, Kafka server information we are providing right. So let's open one more console here we go cmd hit enter and let's enter right so now both producer and consumers are running so now let me minimize that one and we'll open both the thing and we'll see right we'll test so this is the producer uh, let me write something hey guys you can see I have typed here and in consumer console we are seeing right so subscribe my channel you can see 
right here we are typing and here we are getting so in producer console we are sending those uh, messages and in con con consumer console we are getting those messages right so this is the overall idea of how you can install kafka in your local system and you can test uh, like this right so going forward we'll we'll develop uh, java applications where we'll post uh, messages using uh, kafka uh, sorry we'll post the messages through uh, producer we'll write some producer uh, program and we'll post those messages and we'll write some consumer uh, consumer or listeners to read those messages from the kafka topic right so hope uh, you have got some idea how to install those softwares so if this video is helpful to you people please do like um, this video subscribe my channel and thank you for watching